The Pursuit and Ace Pilot are the only flying towers in Tower Defense Simulator. Due to their similarities, it can be difficult to decide which tower you should use. In this video, I'll be explaining in detail which tower is better and why. Let's start with the Ace Pilot. It can be purchased from the shop for 1,500 coins. The Ace flies around in a circle, attacking enemies that are within its range. It costs 500 cash to place. At level 0, it shoots once every 0.158 seconds, deals 1 damage per hit, and has 7 range. Its total DPS is 6.33. The level 1 upgrade costs 250 cash. The Ace now deals 2 damage per hit and has a total DPS of 12.66. The level 2 upgrade costs 350 cash. The Ace now has 8 range and can drop bombs every 4 seconds. Each bomb deals 10 damage and has an explosion range of 10. Because the bombs deal splash damage, I'm going to calculate their DPS assuming they are damaging at least 2 enemies at once, which gives the bombs a DPS of 5. In total, the level 2 Ace has an average DPS of 17.66. This upgrade makes the ace really good. It only costs a total of 1,100 and his bombs plus machine gun allows you to clear swarms of weak enemies and allows you to damage both flying and lead enemies. I recommend placing a few of these to help deal with the early waves instead of trying to max out a single ace. It'll be a better use of your money and reduce the chance of an enemy sneaking by. The level 3 upgrade costs 1,500 cash. The ace now fires once every 0.108 seconds, does 4 damage per hit, and the bombs now do 18 damage. The flight speed of the ace is also increased, meaning it circles faster. In total, the level 3 ace has an average DPS of 46.04. The level 4 upgrade costs 3,600 cash. The ace now deals 6 damage per hit and the bombs fire once every 3.5 seconds with an explosion range of 12. The level 4 ace has a total average DPS of 65.84. The ace also gains a unique passive ability. Not only does the ace itself get permanent hidden detection, any towers within the range of the ace's runway are able to see hidden for 15 seconds at the start of every wave. This can be useful, however most good towers can already see hiddens, with the only notable exception being the engineer sentries. Unfortunately, it does not affect the sentries because they're considered units, not towers. Finally, the level 5 upgrade costs 7,500 cash. The ace now attacks every 0.058 seconds, deals 9 damage per hit, and has 10 range. It drops bombs every 3 seconds, which deal 24 damage and have an explosion range of 12. The ace's flight speed is also increased. In total, the level 5 ace has a DPS of 171.17. These are very impressive stats. The ace's low cost and high DPS makes it a really good early game tower, with some mid game potential. While I wouldn't recommend solely relying on the ace due to its inconsistent targeting, it can definitely be a useful asset to your loadout. Before I continue, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, let's look at the pursuit. The pursuit can be obtained by reaching level 100 or paying 1,500 robux. The tower is a helicopter that flies around in a circle, similar to the ace. The difference is that when an enemy is within the pursuit's range, it stops and fires at them until they either die or leave its range. It costs 1,000 cash to place. At level 0, it fires once every 0.308 seconds, does 1 damage per hit, and has 9 range. It cannot see hiddens. Its total DPS is 3.25. The level 1 upgrade costs 500 cash. The Pursuit now deals 2 damage per hit and has a total DPS of 6.49. The level 2 upgrade costs 650 cash. The Pursuit now fires 2 missiles every 5 seconds. They deal 3 damage and have explosion range of 10. Once again, I'm going to calculate their DPS assuming they are hitting at least 2 enemies at once. This gives the missiles a DPS of 2.4 and the Pursuit a total DPS of 8.89. The level 3 upgrade costs 1500 cash. It reduces the fire rate to 0.158 and increases the range to 10. The missiles now deal 5 damage instead of 3 the level 3 pursuit has a total average dps of 21.66 this upgrade is when the pursuit actually starts to get good its missiles now deal enough damage to clear swarms of weaker enemies and its single target's damage is enough to handle the early game bosses the levels before this are all right but 1000 cash for 3.25 dps is really bad the level 4 upgrade costs 6000 cash and now deals 4 damage per hit and fires 4 missiles instead of 2. the level 4 pursuit has a total average dps of 33.32 the level 5 upgrade costs 9,500 cash. Its fire rate is reduced to every 0.108 seconds, deals 8 damage per hit, and has 12 range. It now fires 6 missiles at a time, and can see hiddens. The level 5 pursuit has a total average DPS of 86.07. Compared to the ace, the pursuit stats don't look great. It has much lower DPS than the ace, and also costs 19,150 cash, while the ace only costs 13,700 cash. That means that the ace has a lot better value. If we divide the ace's 171.17 DPS by its total cost, we get a DPS to cost ratio of 12.49 DPS per every 1000 cash. If we divide the pursuit's 86.07 DPS by its total cost, 
we get a DPS to cost ratio of 4.49 DPS per every 1000 cash, which is almost three times as bad as the ace. The ace is also able to tech hiddens at level four, while the pursuit has to reach level five, which is more expensive. Let's not forget that at the start of every wave, the ace also gives 15 seconds of hidden detection to every tower within its range. So does that mean that the ace is better than the pursuit? Well, there's a few more things we need to consider. First of all, targeting. The ace has by far the worst targeting in the game. Because it flies around in circles, the majority of the time the ace isn't even attacking. In contrast, when an enemy is within the pursuit's range, it stops in place. That means that the pursuit is able to use its DPS a lot more effectively. The last thing we need to consider is the commander's call to arms ability. For some reason, the commander is unable to boost the fire rate of the pursuit and ace's explosives. The ace's bombs have a DPS of 16, and the pursuit's missiles have a DPS of 12. This means that the ace actually benefits less of the pursuit from the commander. However, the difference isn't huge. An advantage the ace has is that you're able to place it on wave 1. This means that it can be used effectively as an early game tower. The pursuit, however, is not really an early game tower. It costs 1000 cash to place, and only gives 3.25 DPS. That means you can't place it on the first round, and even if you did, it wouldn't really do much. However, it can be pretty useful in the mid to late game. A pursuit at level 3 or more can be very effective at killing swarms of zombies, and its targeting is much more consistent than the ace, so you won't have to worry as much about the pursuit missing enemies. Its targeting is definitely not perfect though. The pursuit won't move as long as the enemies are within its range, so enemies like the tank can just slip by the pursuit while it's distracted by other enemies. So, in conclusion, I say the ace pilot does its job a lot better. It's a really good early game tower, and in some situations, it's genuinely the best option, being able to do things that other towers can't. While the pursuit can deal some really good damage, its role as a late game DPS tower has a lot of competition. Towers like the Golden Minigunner, Accelerator, and Engineer just do a lot better than the pursuit. It's a fun tower, but the only real reason you would use it is because you don't have these towers unlocked yet, which is unlikely considering the pursuit is unlocked at level 100. This video took a lot of time to make, so if you enjoyed, please hit that like buddy and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. I'll see you on the next video.